Hi guys, how are you doing? Bit of a strange one today. Um, we're on a, a bit of a road trip. I've got my good friend James on the on the camera there. Say hello, James. Hello. And uh, we're going to be picking up a uh, a beautiful scratch built uh, Star Wars model today. Um, I don't know why we're filming next to the the seagulls, but it just seemed um, like a nice view. Right, so we have uh, borrowed a friend's van that I can't drive. So I'll probably crash this. And uh, we've got our bacon sandwiches and coffee. And we are now on the, not so long road, it's only about an hour away, on our way to pick up our lovely Star Wars scratch built model built by my good friend Gary. So, uh, on the road ahead. I've got to concentrate now before I crash. <laughs> okay, so we've been on the road for, I think, what, what 40 minutes now, Jim? Something like that? Yeah, 40 minutes. Um, and uh, I think I'm going the right way. Don't know. But um, the model that I'm picking up is, uh, is, is a scratch-built model that consists of, uh, I reckon, about 50 model kits Gary's put together. And it's beautiful. It's a concept model of the um, Mon Calamari ships. Ooh, yeah, oh, I from, love a bit of uh, Mon Cal. Return of the Jedi, I believe. And it's the Joe Johnston uh, concept uh, model, which he he obviously did the, the drawings of the concept model, and um, it, it never came to fruition. But, uh, but Gary has, has built this model from that concepts artwork and it's it's a work of art and I don't really buy other people's work I, I never do really but this opportunity came up to buy it and we are literally only about an hour away from each other it's not something that can be posted because it's just it's like 65 inches long so this was the opportunity to get it, it you know I, I could afford it I sold a few other models to, to buy it and uh, yeah we're nearly there. I reckon we're about 10 minutes away. I'm very excited about seeing it. Yeah. Want, you're going to paint this? No, nope, it's already painted. It's already it's painted? All, yeah, he's done a beautiful job. It's already done. Has he stuffed it with fish guts? <laughs> so it's got the that mon cow smell. It hasn't... It, well, the... Uh, yeah, the... The... Um, the, uh, the what they... What, they, Ted, did they, what planet are they from? It's oh. mon, mon Calamari. It's... it's Calamari, isn't it? Squid. Yeah, something like that. It's squid, yeah. I think the Tessex live with them as well. Yeah, t yeah, the uh, squid faces. Squid face, yeah. So yeah, they all stink. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully they look lovely and smell of fish. Okay, so here we are with uh, Gary in the in the the shop model behaviour, which is already I've fallen in love with because it's amazing here. But this, as soon as I walked in, wow! I just uh, it, I'm I'm so thankful that Gary's let me pry this out of his hands. Um, it is all your fault, John. <laughs> <laughs> and I just can't wait to get this home. It is just a work of art. And thank you so much, Gary. I, I can't right. thank you enough my for letting pleasure. me uh, add this to, to my collection. It, I, it's 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 a beautiful, beautiful piece of uh, artwork. And uh, I will look after it. <laughs> it's it's now, now my fifth son. <laughs> <laughs> just don't drop it on the way home. <laughs> no, 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 all the way out. Okay, so we now have this uh, beautiful beast back home <clears throat> in the collection, and it's <laughs> absolutely stunning. I just can't get enough of it. <laughs> Looking at it, it uh, it's um, it's a work of art. It's it's. I just can't believe it's sat here now in my uh, model room. It's just such a gorgeous model. The underside is just, again, breathtaking. All these parts from vintage donor kits, um, all Original style, it's in parts, nothing's cast. There's so much on here from the 1700 Tamiya kits, the Tyrrell F1 kits, Mauser Carl, 
this list is endless. <laughs> it's um, it's lovely. Sat V engine parts. There's um, all that detail on the bottom as well. It's just such a joy to look at. Beautiful. Can't thank you enough, Gary. <clears throat> and um, this is one of Gary's books, Epic Scale Software Modeling, which is wonderful because he goes through all the process and what kits to buy and that sort of thing in recreating your own one of these beasts. He's done a few of these. He's done the Neb B and a few other cruisers, another another sort of dreadnought sort of style build. But this is it. This is um I mean this this shows you that's the original concept that Joe Johnson did. And he's written about it here. It works out to be one by seven thousand eight hundred scale. <laughs> And it took him 240 hours in total. And it's, um, I can't stop looking at it. Honestly, absolutely gorgeous. And it just, I mean, the sheer size of it, I mean, that's, that's the studio scale sand crawler behind. And it's, Longer than that, 65 inches, I think he said it was. There's a part under here <coughs> that covers the thread that goes in the base underneath. And then there's a part on top that you just pop off. And the thread, if you want to turn it upside down, which I'll do at a later date, to see the gorgeous underbelly. Um, but it's just inspired me so much to do something similar and uh, yeah it just looks mean <laughs> but there we go the rebel dreadnought entirely scratch built and finished painted by my good friend Gary Welsh